I forget things. Like everyone. Things I need to remember. Like, it's Thursday. Like, make sure there's enough rice and milk. Make sure you don't put that in the dryer. Make sure you don't buy the gluten-free pasta. I need to remember that I'm an idiot, that I do these things, that I'm the one who gets it wrong, that I gave it up. It's very on brand. So how do you remember things? You write them down. I write them down. Things I need to remember. That I'm wrong. Impulsive. and so on. And it becomes your truth. And it's what you tell yourself. And so you believe it. And it doesn't matter that you have children who love you. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't stop. This is painful and this hurts. And you become your own bully and you start to go, oh yes, this feels good, this feels right. This is true, this is right. And this becomes the story that you tell about yourself. And I think it, it stops you from Everything. Um, I mean, it really locks you in. It says this is your story, and this is this is it. This is not changeable, nor should it be. And so you have to kind of say that's a lie. And if you can say that that's a lie, then you can maybe start to realize that this is all a lie too. I don't have any kind of special knowledge or power or magic lozenge or serum that you can take that'll just change your thinking. I know that for different people, different things work. For some, it's a combination of therapy and meds. For others, it can be changing the people around you, changing the influences around you. I know that most of the work has to come from within, and that can take a lot of time. And during that time, you're gonna need a lot of empathy and patience and compassion. But before any of that can even begin, there has to be a willingness, a willingness to believe that it's even possible to reframe the way you look at yourself. <laughs>